the next concept we are going to discuss is impulse so what is the meaning of impulse let us suppose take a body initially which is start, uh, moving with a velocity v and while it is uh, moving towards a point some external force is applied maybe in the form of resistance of the air or maybe any other force is applied on the body to change its velocity to u the initial momentum of the body is mv after the force applied its momentum was changed to mu so we know that the rate of change in momentum is force but what is the connectivity between this impulse and this explanation the connectivity is if some amount of force maybe it is a large force or small amount of force is applied on a body for short interval of time to change its linear momentum is called impulse of the body the amount of force applied on a body for short interval of time to change its linear momentum is called impulse the symbol of the impulse is capital i what are the examples while you are seeing a fielder which he is catching a cricket ball initially he stretches the hands forward but while he is catching the ball this his hands will be moved back that means he is applying a small amount of force for short interval of time on the ball to change the momentum of the ball this is the one example catching a cricket ball the example is catching a cricket ball one more example if you see two persons they are jumping from the top one is on the stone marble second one is on the sand the one who is jumping towards the marble stone will feel more injuries but the one who is jumping toward the sand a land of sand so he will feel less injuries and no injuries sometimes the reason behind it is the marble stone can create the lot of change in the momentum within a short interval of time but the sand is not effective that much when compared to the marble stone so these are the examples we can observe in the impulse so what is the equation part what are its units so force is equal to rate of change in momentum by time if the body's velocity is changing from v to u its change in momentum will be mv minus mu by time so where mv is final momentum where mu is initial momentum by time so therefore if you take the m as common m into v minus u by t is equal to f so 
m into v minus u is equal to f into t. This change in momentum is equal to force into time. This force into time is called impulse. Therefore, impulse is equal to force into time or EFT. After deriving the formula, what is its SI unit? SI unit of impulse. I is equal to SI unit of force is Newton. SI unit of time is second. So it is called as Newton second. The dimensional formula of the impulse it can be derived like this. We should keep the I in brackets. The dimensional formula of force is m l t power minus 2 into the dimensional formula of time is capital T. So this is the dimensional formula of force. This capital T is the dimensional symbol of time. So it will be m l t power minus 1. So impulse had one dimension in mass, one dimension in length and minus one dimensions in time. It is dependent on mass, length, time of the body which are primarily said to be fundamental physical quantities in the list if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbsc syllabus